can hear anything. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> sure thing. Commissioner Baco? Here. Commissioner Godioso? Here. Commissioner Rakowski? Commissioner Neary? Here. Commissioner Whitaker? Lisa Catania? Michael Pierce and myself, George Needles, present. Here. Good evening, Commissioners. Thank you. Uh, unless there's any other questions at this point, I'd just like to read the public notice for the record. Um, I'm sorry, just uh, as an introduction, Brian Seidel, uh, Upper Chichester Township Planning uh, Planner. The public notice for the hearing, Upper Chichester Township, pursuant to Article 6 of the Pennsylvania Municipalities Planning Code, is proposing to amend the Upper Chichester Township official zoning map to rezone the parcels known as Delaware County folio numbers 09-00-01343-00 from the current zoning district of R2 medium density residential to C2 highway commercial district. Folio numbers 09-00-03034-01 also 09-00 dash zero zero three one three dash zero one also zero nine dash zero zero dash zero zero three one three dash zero two and zero nine dash zero zero dash zero zero three one three dash zero three from the current zoning district of industrial to C1 neighborhood commercial district and folio number 09-00-10859-02 from the current zoning district of R2 medium density residential to C1 neighborhood commercial district. Full copy of the proposed amendment to the zoning ordinance and maps are available for public review and inspection and available for purchase for the cost of copying at the township offices during regular business hours. The Board of Commissioners will take public comment and or questions at a public hearing on September 8, 2002, I'm sorry, 2022, at 6.30 p.m. related to the proposed amendments and changes. It is anticipated that the Board of Commissioners will consider the adoption of the proposed ordinance amendment at their regular commissioners meeting on September 8, 2022, at 7.30 p.m. during the regular Board of Commissioners meeting. Both the hearing and subsequent meeting will be held at the township building located 8500 Fury Road, Upper Chichester Township, Pennsylvania. Anyone requiring special accommodations to participate in the hearing should contact the township at least three days prior to the meeting and or hearing. I asked Mr. Needles to just confirm the public notice that I read, uh, which was advertised, uh, was in fact advertised appropriately. Uh, good evening, everybody. Pursuant to the Municipal Planning Code, the public notice was uh, advertised in the Delaware County Daily Times on August 15th and August 29th. The certified mailings were made to the property owners on August 8th. The Planning Commission of Upper of Delaware County was notified more than uh, on 7-21-2022, and they uh, they had this on their agenda for their August 18th, 2022 meeting. The Upper Chichester Township Planning Commission was notified at their July meeting, which was, I'll just a second here, uh, July 28th, 
and they uh, they saw this on their agenda for August 25th. All of the properties were appropriately posted by the zoning officer on 8-27-2022. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Needles. Uh, the zoning map amendments, as I read to them to you, uh, basically consist of three areas within the township. Uh, we provided a key map on the existing zoning map to identify those locations and generally describe them as the Market Street detail, the Boothman Road and Kingsman Road detail, and the Mill Road detail area. Uh, the application or the proposed amendment was sent to Delaware County Planning Commission for their review. Uh, we did receive a review from them uh, dated August 19th, uh, which was generally in support of the zoning map amendment. If you'd like, we can we can go through each specific area uh, on the maps that were provided, or if there's any questions, I'm happy to answer. Does the board have any questions? If any other commissioners have any concerns with, with the areas that are being zoned within their own wards. Sure. Yes, I think I'd be good. Thank you. Sure. So the uh, map that's in front of you is what uh, I just described and explained as the key map. Uh, there are black dashed areas within that. These three dashed areas um, on that map that indicate the detail areas that we're looking at. Uh, if we can go to the next page. Uh, the next page represents the Market Street detail area. Uh, generally, the change that's being uh, made here is the to change from the R2 to the C2 zoning. This is really a part of the considering the area and the Route 322 improvements uh, and address some of the taking that come in from the right of way in this area. Uh, so the two parcels that are identified there uh, being changed from R2 to the C2. We can go to the next page. The next page represents the Boothwind Kingsman Road detail area. Uh, this is based on this map. It would be the north side of essentially the rail line. Uh, those properties are zoned industrial, as is the rail line there. They're being proposed to be changed to the C1 district, which is more in keeping with a neighborhood commercial district uh, and the corridor in that area to be more appropriate, more consistent for the residential districts neighboring Sarah. And the last page, if we can go to that, is the Mill Road detail area. Uh, the parcel that's being changed here is really part of the uh, Reliance Fire Company. Uh, again, with the uh, recent development that's come into the area for the AutoZone property, uh, the consistency of the C1 district uh, expanding that Reliance Fire Company, or the property that contains a Reliance Fire Company uh, to be a um, maintained as a, more of a neighborhood commercial zoning to support that use or other uh, potential uses. There's been a discussion about in the township about uh, potential of adaptive reuses of buildings. Uh, what are they going to become based on the zoning? So this would allow a more appropriate use of the property potentially in the future and is certainly more compatible with the adjacent commercial court. Happy to answer any other questions that you might have. Does the board have any other questions? I, I just want to make one comment, a uh, quick one on all this with the public. I mean, the public could have some questions that they need to 
Um, a lot of this came out within the last two or three years on the plans that this, this board has been implementing throughout the whole township. Uh, streetscape plan, the Market Street plan, the Boothland Town Center. I've lived here most of my, all my life, you might as well say, and it was surprisingly on the one that was industrial that could have really hurt the community, which we're changing to C1 to fit the residential area. Uh, the other ones are pockets where they've always been done, but for some reason, nothing was com completed as a, a whole. So this isn't no individual coming to us asking for anything. This is stuff that we've been working on for the last probably three to five years, really, with the Market Street, Florida, Newwood Heights, Boothland Town Center. And we just try to clean up. Uh, we're working on the Boothland Town Center as we speak now. And we will have another hearing probably October, November for them. So we're just trying to clean everything up. Um, because I know if I lived there, I didn't want an, an industrial thing coming in and I live right behind it or in front of it. So it's just things were changing. And um, I thank Brian with it. I'll open it up to the public that's here now. We'll have to go on, on by uh, virtual on the phone in a few minutes and we'll take it from there. And, Brian? And sorry, Mr. Commissioner, if I can just add into that, you raised a very good point. Uh, the, the map zoning map changes that are being proposed this evening uh, we're taking small bites here. We're looking at small areas. What are our uh, potential problem areas? What are areas that need to be addressed? Uh, it may be uses that have been there for uh, a long time that maybe they have changed. Uh, so there, there's things that uses of the property developments. Uh, in the case of 322, the improvements that are coming through there uh, that necessitates the, the zoning change. So it, it's a great point that you made the fact that this is. Uh, we're taking small bites of the apple and breaking this down into smaller areas. Boothman Town Center, as you mentioned, would be another area that we're looking at. So we're just trying to, rather than do a holistic zoning chain for the entire township in one shot, it's easier to do this in smaller bite size pieces. Thank you. Thank you. I'll open it up to the floor tonight here if there's any public comment on this hearing. Then we'll. I'll go by virtual with the phone and give out the phone number. If there's any public comment by phone. Uh, since we are virtual, uh, let me find it here. Here we go. Individuals may participate in the hearing during a public comment by dial on 571-748-4021. That number again is 571-748-4021. And enter in 821-752-994 pound. Enter in 821-752-994 pound. That is your code. To unmute your phone, dial star six. After unmuting your phone, state your name and your address and then begin your comment. You will be have given two minutes to speak and will be placed back on mute after your comment. The phone lines will be open for a few minutes on this hearing only for the zoning changes that we just presented. We'll, we'll give it to you in a couple seconds. I want to leave the phone lines open just for a couple seconds and then we'll get right back to you. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Make note there was no phone comments coming in tonight uh, regarding the hearing and open up the floor to you. Yeah. 
Yes, my name is Kathy Womack. I'm a new homeowner. I'm at 210 Garfield Avenue. And I think I'm interested in what's happening on that first um, change, zoning change on Market Street. Uh, what part? Oh, no. It's 452 and the Garfield area. Take it. Sorry, uh, bear with me. Uh, great. So if uh, I'm just looking at the map here, I believe the 210 Garfield uh, you would be, um, based on this sheet, on the north side of Garfield Avenue, correct? The top of that? On the um, away? Correct, yeah. Um, I believe you're where the one is, is kind of below Garfield. I believe you were on the opposite side of Garfield. Is that correct? Right. Okay. Yeah, so the uh, the zoning change would affect basically the, the property on the opposite side of the street. From you, uh, it is currently zoned residential. There are uh, some significant planned improvements that are associated with Route 322 in this area. That includes widening of the roadway uh, and also changing to the uh, on ramps, off ramps in this area. Uh, so there have been some changes to the parcel lines, uh, rather than what's depicted on this map. What's what's depicted on the map here? The key map is the current township zoning map. However, there have been very recent takings by uh, PennDOT in this area. So some of the lot configurations have changed. And that was a comment from the county that when we formally, if the zoning map is formally adopted, that that should be revised. Uh, but the basically there's a long, skinny, narrow parcels on the opposite side of Garfield would be the ones that would be changed. The, uh, where I see one and two? That's correct. Yes, it would and, be those two parcels. And do you have something proposed for that area? Uh, there's nothing currently proposed, no. Uh, it just, it, it would be, it's more keeping that side of Garfield is generally located in the C2 zoning district already. Uh, it's just those long, narrow parcels uh, and for consistency along Market Street and uh, quite honestly, the narrowness of those individual lots would be inappropriate for the residential area uh, along market. So the idea is that it's more keeping with the market street component uh, to allow uh, the C2, C2 zoning in that area. Thank you. Sure. George, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't some of Garfield going to get improved with 322? Or yeah, it gets, uh, it gets repositioned. So that whole area gets reconfigured with the addition of two traffic signals uh, at the intersections of the off ramps uh, and on ramps of 322 and 452, and the off the on ramp then to 3, 322 from 452 gets reconfigured. Um, these parcels too are all under uh, single ownership, and they've they've been under single ownership for decades. Um, so we do anticipate. Uh, some potential development in that area over time, um, consistent with like along the 322 corridor, which would be uh, which would be C2 zoning. The C2 zoning does require a buffer between the residential district and the actual uh, C2 structure. So uh, if plans do come in, they do have to comply with our zoning laws, which include those buffers between residential. You can't have uh, light shine on residential properties. There's various uh, rules and regulations to prevent and protect the quality of life.
Yeah, so right now that is a, I mean, it is a developable piece of land and it is owned under private ownership. So someone can come in and build there. Um, so, uh, you know, in doing this, it ensures that they have to comply completely with the C2 zoning requirements. Cool. Any other questions out in the audience? That just concludes our hearing for the uh, zoning. It'll be taking about five minutes or get into the <laughs> other hearing that we have at seven o'clock. Thank you. George, do we need to adjourn this meeting or uh, can it continue? Yes, yes, sorry about that. We need a, need a motion to adjourn. So moved. All in favor? Aye. The order.
<clears throat> there a second hearing tonight uh, here tonight to consider approval of a resolution permitting the transfer of a liquor license into the township by Roosevelt Club for the use at 1661 Mill Road, Booth 1 PA 19061. Uh, we'll be turning it over to Mr. Edward McHugh. And the floor is all yours. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, Mr. Solicitor. Uh, thank you for uh, taking the time to hear this case today to schedule it. I am the liquor license attorney for the Rose Roosevelt Club, uh, which is a licensee, liquor licensee that owns a catering club liquor license that is attached to an address in um, in, in Ridley Township. Uh, the premises has been closed for some time. They would like to move the license to 1661 Mill Road in Upper Chichester township which is currently the uh, ballroom at the phoenix many i'm sure you're familiar with the location but that's why we are we're, we're here today with me tonight is dina mark mark rusko uh, who is the president secretary of the club also with me tonight is mr marino who is the president of marino catering he is the event manager at this location currently we would like to move this liquor license into the location to make the service of alcoholic beverages available um, for for the catered affairs that are taking place at this location, such as weddings, graduations, and other special events. Uh, Section 461 of the Liquor Code requires that we come before the receiving municipality before we make this application to the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board. Uh, we still have, to, if if we're fortunate enough to get a, a resolution, we still have to go through that liquor board process. We still have to post the orange placard. We still have to go through the criminal background checks, go through the inspections and everything else with the liquor board in order to get approved at this location. This is simply because it's going from one township to another. The liquor board requires that we come before the receiving municipality. I did uh, prepare an exhibit packet that I um, distributed to uh, to the members of the board. To the um, solicitor and Mr. Needles um, for review. Uh, it does uh, contain some information with regards to the location itself, the the uh, the the, uh, the uh, catering uh, facility, which um, which are, there's three photographs in that exhibit packet. Just to give you an idea, it's it, it is a rather large uh, facility. It's uh, we would estimate it's about ten thousand square feet. It has a capacity of, of 475 people. It has an operational kitchen. Included in that packet is a valid health permit, uh, which is currently posted at the premises. Um, there is no outside serving areas. Uh, everything would be contained inside the premises. The, uh, the service of alcohol beverages would be simply as a complement to the meals and to the events that would be um, would be at this location. Uh, through uh, Marino uh, Catering. The, if we are licensed at this location, it is a, a legal requirement that at least the steward and or manager of the uh, Roosevelt Club become RAMP certified. Uh, I've discussed it with the, with the client and they have decided to make anyone who would be required to serve alcohol at this location, all the servers responsible for serving alcohol beverages would be required to become RAMP certified and RAMP trained. The RAMP uh, certification is, is an acronym for the Responsible Alcohol Management Program, which is offered by the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board for all new licensees. It's a two-year certification, and each licensee would have to then re get retrained for recertification every two years. Um, and the Roosevelt Club and Marino Catering would make that a requirement at this location. That provides the servers with a, uh, a basis for um, you know, to, for so they understand the proper and lawful way to dispense alcohol um, in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. The hours that are, uh, as far as the hours of operation, would simply be the events themselves. Uh, that you know, it would be Friday, Saturday, Sunday evenings. Occasionally, I think there would be there may be like a, 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 a Thursday um, event, but it really would be just something that would be available um, 
for the uh, events taking place at, at that location. Um, I have uh, um, Mr. Marino and um, Ms. Uh, Marusco here available for, for questions. Um, I, I'm, I'm happy to field any questions that anyone may have tonight um, about the about any aspect of this application or the liquor license itself. At this point, we would open it up to the Board of Commissioners uh, to ask any questions of the applicant pursuant to the public hearing notice requirements. If there are any questions, concerns, or issues related to the operation or the potential transfer of this, this would be the appropriate time to put that on the record. Thank you. Any questions on the board? From the board. The business was, was sold. Same hours of operation be held, or would it be a new? So, uh, once the, the municipality receives the license into their township, um, they wouldn't have to go through the township process again. Uh, they would have to go through a liquor board process to transfer it to, you know, so that liquor board process would still be open. So to answer your question, if someone had an issue with the current operation, like the, let's say the, the hours change or the, the, the concept changed and they, you know, they, they had to sell it or they were transferring it to a new ownership, they would have to go through that liquor board process, post the placard, and go through that, you know, so if that was an issue that would come up at the time of transfer, I guess. That's, okay. Yeah. That's good. Thank you. Any other questions from the board? I'm going to open it up to the public. you first, and then I'll go by phone so we could keep moving. Any public comment tonight? Take note, there's no public comment for the public hearing for the transfer to liquor license. Um, we will go to the phone lines now. Open up the phone lines by dial on 571-748. 4021. That number again is 571-748-4021. Enter in the code 821-752-994-POUND. The code again is 821-752-994-POUND. To unmute your phone, dial star six. Once you unmute your phone, state your name and address. And we'll begin your comment. You'll be given two minutes to speak on behalf of just the resolution transferring a liquor license. Lines will be open for a few minutes. Take note, there is no public comment by phone. And we conclude this meeting for tonight. Just, just, one, just one thing, just for the record, uh, and I will make this comment when we get through uh, to consider it the commissioner's business portion. Tonight's public hearing was advertised in accordance with the uh, liquor board uh, requirements regarding public hearing and transfer, uh, transfer of any potential liquor license into the township. Uh, was advertised in the uh, Delaware County Daily Times. We'll have proof of publication uh, once the resolution is squared away, and we'll provide that as well. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, members of the board, Mr. Smith. Thank you.
This concludes our hearing for the transfer of liquor license. Need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? See you in 15 minutes. <laughs>
Meaning, come the order where I have to play. Through the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation. Welcome back to the Upper Chachas for Township Board of Commissioners. Roll call. Commissioner Bahako. Here. Commissioner Godioso. Here. Commissioner Rikowski. Here. Commissioner Neary. Here. Uh, Commissioner Whitaker. Lisa Catania. Michael. <laughs>
Michelle you typically uh, still do, well, she still does the inspection. She charges us a reduced fee, and it's paid out of the general fund. Thank you. Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Number eight through sixteen will be read by Commissioner Joe Neri. Thank you. Uh, consider a motion approving the list of bills in the amount of one million sixty one thousand dollars sixty five sixty five dollars and eighty cents. So moved. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Opposed? So order. <clears throat> consider a motion accepting the proposal for Millennium Strategies for grant writing services subject to the review of the solicitor. So moved. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Oppose. Oops, sorry about that, Joe. Oppose. So order. Consider a motion accepting the 2022 minimum municipal obligation for the police pension fund in the amount of $443,124. So move. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Oppose. Opposed. So order. Consider a motion accepting the 2022 minimum municipal obligation for the non-uniform defined benefit pension fund in the amount of $47,002. So moved. Thank you. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So order. Consider a motion accepting the 2022 minimum municipal obligation for the non-uniform defined contribution fund in the amount of $70,200. So moved. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So order. <clears throat> Consider a motion authorizing the sale of various township vehicles and equipment, including a 2007 Leboy roller, Mitel phones, and a 1987 GMC Chack truck. So moved. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Opposed? So ordered. Consider a motion approving the real estate tax refund for 2608 Namens LLC in the amount of $4,856.32. Second. Any questions? I, I just had more. Is this just our township tax, Mr. Pierce? It is the refund for the, uh, I think they were the assessments from the school board? These, this is our, these are for uh, the township tax. Okay. Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Consider a motion approving the real estate tax refund for Andrew Plaza Associates LLC in the amount of $239.99. So moved. Second. <clears throat> Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Consider a motion approving the real estate tax refund for local union 654 building association in the amount of $8,336.90. So move. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Thank you. Thank you. Number 17. Yeah, I'm going. <laughs> uh, yes, no, I got number 17 through 22. Is, 22. Is, well, yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Like the, the board, consider resolution authorizing escrow funds be released to David Atwell in the amount of $1,400 and zero cents. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So ordered. Like to consider resolution authorizing escrow funds be released to Willowbrook Apartments in the amount of eight thousand four hundred eighty-seven dollars and zero cents. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So ordered. 
like to consider a motion accepting the extension granted by Alliance 3033 Market LLC, granting the Board of Commissioners up to and including October 13th, 2022, to act on their subdivision and land development application. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? No order. I consider a motion accepting the extension granted by Vizana Brothers Concrete Products Incorporation, granting the Board of Commissioners up to and including October 13th, 2022, to act on their land development application. Second. So, any, any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So ordered. I'd like the Board to consider resolution approving the intermunicipal liquor license transfer request from Roosevelt Club to 1661 Mill Road, Boothwin, PA, 19061. Second. Any questions? Thank you. Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. Thank you. And all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. So ordered. Lastly, uh, I'd like to consider a ordinance amending the township official zoning map to rezone the parcels known as Delaware County full yield number 09. Dash zero zero dash zero one three four three dash zero zero from the current zoning district of R two medium density residential to C two highway commercial district. Folio number zero nine dash zero zero dash zero three zero three four dash zero one. Portfolio number 09-00-00313-01. Folio number 09-00-00313-02. And folio number 09-00-00313-03. From the current zoning district of industrial commercial to C1 neighborhood commercial district. And lastly, Folio number 09-00-10859-02 from the current zoning district of R2 medium density residential to C1 neighborhood commercial district. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Number 23 through 28, Mr. Yako. Thank you. Um, and these first two, I'll have more details on uh, later in our reports. An announced the 2022 Upper Chichester Township Shredding event on Saturday, October 1st. Just announced the 2020. Announced the 2022 Delaware County Household Hazardous Waste event on Saturday, October 15th. And I'll have more details on these later in the, in the meeting. Next, consider a motion approving the hiring of Ryan France as a full-time laborer in the Public Works Department. So moved. For a second. Any questions? Got a second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Consider a resolution making application to the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation, PennDOT, for funding through the Traffic Signal Technologies Grant, PSTG, program for the Chichester Avenue Traffic Signal Synchronization Project. So moved. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So order. Consider an ordinance amending the Township Code of Ordinances, Chapter 490, Stormwater Management. So moved. 
Second. Questions. I just want to put something on record and ask a question. Uh, this new ordinance that we're passing is part of the county model. Ms. Catania, is this part of the uh, county model that, I mean, we've adopted some of theirs and kept ours at the same time or? Right. I've never been told I've been quiet. I've told you that before. Um, it also brings uh, some green infrastructure to the forefront so that we're looking at some better technologies to take care of stormwater management. And um, right now, I believe that this ordinance will, will certainly affect your residents differently because we've talked about the pools pools will typically be under the the uh, max or the trigger point for stormwater management. Uh, they will still have to do some stormwater management if there is an existing known um, problem in the community in that neighborhood. Uh, that exemption can be can be redirected. So we're hoping that this will will be something that will assist us in getting to our goals with the MS4 permit requirements. So that would lead into my second question. We we have this simple a simplified method to be able to make that process a little easier for the residents. So versus there there are two different uh, systems that, that are utilized. There's what's called a simplified approach that has just paperwork that, that a resident could fill out and come up with this is a this is the number of rain barrels we need to use or this is this is the size of a rain garden that that we would need to place in order to meet the the regulation um, and then there's the full blown stormwater management that you see that most of the developers are having to put together so there is a simplified approach um, that paperwork, as I said, is, is pretty simple. This is the square footage. You go down the table, you just mark it up, and, and that's submitted to the township. Thank you. The methods haven't changed. It's the square footage requirements that are going to be amended. There's always been the simplified approach and then the full blown stormwater management requirements. That's that's been in the ordinance um, since two thousand five. Um, Lisa, it um, currently is five hundred square feet, correct? As the minimum. That is correct. Sorry, we're, we're proposing that the regulated impervious surface is from 750 uh, up to 1499, you would do the simplified approach and 1500 square feet, you would be not exempt. So you would do the full balloon. And then with the earth disturbance, it's up to 5,000 square feet of your exempt, 5,000 to an acre, you have to do a modified approach, which they're, the bottom of the table gives you that modification and then over an acre you're not exempt it's on page 10 it's table 601 106.1 so the other thing the other thing that is in this ordinance is the fact that 
Um, it, I think code enforcement might be a little bit easier. I don't know that we have the problem here, but pest, pet waste issues that, that you have where people aren't cleaning up after their pets is actually in this ordinance because it is a violation of the Clean Streams Act. Any other questions? Take it back. Any other questions? All in favor? Uh, no. 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 So ordered. Excellent. Consider a motion accepting the proposal from Herbert, Roland, and Grubick Incorporated for engineering, financial, and related services to support the implement, imp, implementation of a stormwater utility in Upper Chichester Township, not to exceed $200,000, subject to review of the solicitor. So moved. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So order. I guess the next one would be myself. Um, one of the members of the board would uh, consider a motion accepting the proposal from CSERT Safety for consultant services related to the update of the emergency management plan for Upper Chichester Township, not to exceed $8,550, subject to review of the solicitor. Second. Still move. Still move. Oh, I'm sorry. You can still move. Second. Yeah, I need some. Still move. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So ordered. And, uh, Joe, you want to do this one? Sure. <laughs> Consider a motion appointing Nicole Whitaker as the township's voting delegate at the Pennsylvania Municipal League's 2022 Municipal Leadership Summit. So moved. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Now we'll go on to our commissioner's report. We'll start out with Madam Vice President Nicole Whitaker. Thank you. Good evening. I um, just wanted to um, let everyone know that the library is having their annual book sale. It'll be next week. It'll go over the course of three days, um, September 15th through the 17th. Um, there will be an early entry phase. So if anyone wants to enter early on Thursday, September the 15th, from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., um, you'll pay a fee of $20 and you'll get first choice of book selection. You'll pay for a bag of $15 and you'll fill up the bag with books. So they have thousands of books they need to get rid of. The hours are um, the 15th after the early entry is 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Thursday, Friday, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m., and then Saturday, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. And it'll be at um, it, the church, the church. Hold oh, one second. We get the location. The church across from the Wawa. It'll be at Resurrection Church, across from the Wawa, right? Across from the new Wawa, twenty six fifty five Chichester Avenue, Booth One Nine Zero Six One. And you know that. Um, all the proceeds from this, as well as all other fundraising efforts, um, will go to supporting the library's new building. So um, please come out and support the library. And um, that's all I have. That's it. Anything to be brought to the attention, uh, Commissioner Whitaker? Now we'll move along to Commissioner Joe Neary. Thanks, sir. Uh, the financial reports are available in the book and at the office for the general public, as well as the tax collector's uh, monthly report. The police report is available for everyone. Um, it's in your binder tonight, and it's available at the office as well. Um, and I believe that's all I have tonight. Thank you. Anything to be brought to the attention, uh, Commissioner Neary? Now we'll move along to Commissioner Michael Guardioso. Hearing this past week uh, for the McDonald's, the variances for the signs. I believe the zoning board has continued that. 
Um, so my understanding, and George, please correct me if 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 I'm not have this down exact, is they wanted to hear what the planning board had to consider through their land to sub through through their land development, which might be a catch twenty two because you would need variant you would need the, the the zoning variance approved before you go to the planning board. At this point, I haven't been able to review the video of the meeting okay, to determine definitely. exactly what the, the what they were looking for. Um, I did have a conversation with the zoning officer who attended the meeting. He indicated that they they had said that they had many questions about the plan um, and that there was some conversation back and forth about a submittal of a new plan and that they were looking for something. So I will follow up with that. Uh, right now, at this point, it's continued to the next meeting. All right, so hopefully by ho hopefully by our next meeting we'll have a uh, updated uh, report or, or sooner and we'll send that out to the board. Um, my report for uh, for the month of uh, September it, for license inspection is in your folder. It lists um, the amount of inspections we've done, number of businesses that have registered to date, and so forth. So if you have any questions, please review it, and um, I'll be happy to answer them. Other than that, I don't have anything else to uh, report on. Anything to be brought to the attention of Commissioner Rodeo, so Mike, did you know, are they in front of the planning before they go to zoning again, or are they going in front of them for I, I anything? I don't know. That's why we're, we got to figure it out. Yeah, we want a plan that has zoning violations. Correct. So. Yes. So, but they, they want the zoning first. Right. Typically, zoning variances are granted first. Right. Before you go to the planning board, because if you don't, because if you don't have the proper setbacks, right? But they want the question. What questions for, and answers do they want for the planning for if they're not going to be in front of them? I'll have to review the the meeting minutes to find out exactly what was said. Uh, it was indicated to me by the zoning officer that who was present at the meeting that there may have been some confusion as to what and what how the steps work in the process. Right. Uh, so I think we'll, it may have to be a Solicitor in the zoning hearing board, solicitor, just to ensure that it's doing everything appropriately. I just wanted to bring it to the board's attention, uh, bring it to the board's attention before um, it got any further. No problem. Thank you. If nothing else, we'll move along to Commissioner Biaco. Thank you. Um, highway and sanitation, um, you heard earlier we are uh, promoting, we had a vacancy and we're promoting one of the uh, part-time gentleman to full-time. Um, and we started contract negotiations today. Uh, it was just brief, you know, hello, you know, we're getting started, set up the dates. Um, they're going to give us their proposals by like Monday and we'll bring everything back to the rest of the board. Um, sewer Authority, we... Uh, started the uh, stormwater process if they look into that and see see where that goes um we got a meeting coming up with lower chai about the new line going from uh beach street down tie into the other interceptor and give us more capacity at that station and the neiman's creek station um and like I said earlier, we have a, the shredding event and the hazardous waste event. So I'll give you a little more information on them. Upper Chichester Township shredding event will take place October 1st, 2022, between 9 a.m. and noon. Bring all papers and documents that need to be shredded to the municipal complex at 8500 Fury Road. The household hazardous waste event will take place October 15th, 2022. This event is by appointment only. Call Delaware County's waste, solid waste to register, 610-892-9627. Household waste items include, but are not limited to, gas, oil, automotive products, cleaners, household fire extinguishers, pool chemicals or any other chemicals, pesticides, paint sol solvents, aerosol cans and deodorant spray paint, such, et cetera. Um, there's more on our website. These are both posted, right, George? If uh, anyone's interested, it's on the website. And that's all I have. 
Anything to be brought to the attention of Commissioner Biaco? Now we'll go to my report real quick. Uh, so emergency management. Um, first of all, thank you with the uh, contract. I think that's going to help out with the new plan for Upper Chichester. It's a uh, one-year process. Uh, start in October of this year and hopefully be done by October of next year. Um, also, the uh, medic unit is up and running. They have seven full-time employees now. Uh, for the last, I guess it's been eight years now, that I've been doing it with part-time individuals. And as everybody knows, it's hard to even just to get help, even in the hospitals and just locally here, we can't even get people to help us cut the grass during the summertime. But uh, they took the step last year and the township was supportive last year with them for this year for 2022. And they have four full-time medics and three full-time EMTs. Um, they do the service of 24-7, 365 days, and they still use the pool of part-timers. Uh, but as I stated before, it's not coming anymore. It's here. Uh, we're, we're starting to do it. Uh, I'm glad this board, and hopefully we could step up a little more. Uh, but it's a good service for Upper Chichester, and uh, we're just working with the fire department, and hopefully we could get that consolidation done. and start working with them so the uh fire marshal report is not on file this month uh, do, mr pierce uh, we have some issues legal issues we have to make sure that it's done properly with some subpoenas uh i don't know if I, you got the email today or not regarding some subpoenas from for the fire marshal and i don't want nothing to go through without you knowing There's something that just came today about it. So I just want to make sure that everybody's, we do what we have to do the right way. And it doesn't, so I don't know who has the report, if it's a fire report he's looking for it or a fire moisture report from 2021. So we'll find that out shortly. If anything else, uh, that would do it for me. We'll go, unless anybody has anything for me, we'll go to a professional report. We'll go to uh, the Tanya engineer, Lisa. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I went through most of the items uh, last week, and we did have some action items tonight. I'll answer any questions if anyone has them. I spoke to, to Commissioner Neary. Uh, we are going to try to set up a meeting with the Creekside folks uh, to get that issue resolved. And uh, otherwise, I can report general progress. And if anybody has any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Very good. Listen, Michael Pierce. Thank you, Mr. President. You have a copy of my written report. There were several action items that took place tonight specifically related to the stormwater ordinances as well as the liquor license transfer. Those matters have all been taken care of. Everything else is in order, sir. Anything to be brought to the attention of the solicitor? If not, we'll move along to our manager, George Needles. Good evening, everybody. I gave most of my reports last week at the meeting. Uh, all the administrative reports are on file. Uh, just to note, I will not be at the caucus meeting in October. Uh, Raymond Fuller from the Director of uh, Police and Emergency Services Administration will be filling in. Anything to be brought to the attention of manager? Now we'll move along. New business. Nothing for new business. Need a motion to adjourn? So moved. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Good night.